Good evening, everyone. And welcome to this very special service on this very special night. It's Christmas Eve, and this is one of the services I look forward to all year because we get the opportunity to experience the story of Jesus' birth through the wonder and excitement and energy of our children. And all of you who are here um, are going to help us grown-ups to experience the joy all over again. So we're excited uh, to worship God during this time together. Just a, a, a few words, um, and is, especially if this is your first time attending this service. The whole service is led by our children. And... Um, Toward the, about a third of the way in, as we sing the hymn, The First Noel, all children of any age, whether you got here in time to wear a costume or not, are welcome to join in the star parade. One of our youth will come and, and get the star, and all the children will gather around her, and they will make their way around the sanctuary as we sing the first Noel, and then we'll all gather up here and to get to meet the Holy Family and hear the Christmas story told in a beautiful way. And then we'll share in communion, and we'll be singing lots of Christmas carols and celebrating the birth of Jesus. So with joy in our hearts, let us prepare to experience this time of worship together on this Christmas Eve night. Please join me in the call to worship found in your bulletin. Animals came to prepare your bed. Long Lord Jesus, come. Shepherds stood guard, marveled, and said, Long Lord Jesus, come. Angels sang cries, angels sang to calm your cries. Long Lord Jesus, come. And, and all the world great, gave one great sigh. Let us make our confessions before God and each other. God, Emmanuel, forgive us for forgetting the magic of this night, for focusing on ourselves and what we need to do instead. The miracle, Jesus' birth. Forgive us for forgiveness and justice. 
choosing what is easy over what is loving. Inspire us and unite you in the love of neighbor and inspire inspire your presence here in our world. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love towards that proves God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. As a forgiven and reconciled people, let us exchange signs of reconciliation and love. The peace of Christ be with you.
pull up the steps. All right, friends, keep coming in and find a seat. And just a, come, come sit down. There you go. Come on in, find a spot to sit down. We're so glad that you are here tonight. Um, and we are going to hear the Christmas story in just a second. Our friends right here are going to read it for us. And, but, but this story is one we're inviting everyone to help us participate in, okay? This includes all of your parents and grandparents and friends sitting out there too. So as they read the story, there's going to be some special words that you're going to be listening for because you have a response to those words, okay? So anytime that one of our readers says the word shepherds, everybody's going to respond, hey, sheep, and wave at the sheep, okay? So let's practice that. If, I, if one of our readers says shepherds, everyone would say? Hey, sheep. Perfect, you got it. All right, and if, they, and if they say the word sheep, what do you think you might do? Hey, bah, I want to hear your best sheep noises. Yep, every time you hear the word sheep, best sheep noise, you got it. And when they say angel, we're going to all say hallelujah. So if I say angel, they, you would say? Hallelujah. Good, you got it. All right, there's a couple more. If they say the word good news, because we're celebrating good news tonight, right? If they say good news, you're going to go, you're going to do your best fist pump and say yes. So good news, yes, great. And then if we say great joy, everybody's going to cheer. Can you, so great joy. Woohoo! Perfect. And the last one, if you hear the word baby, you're going to say, aww. Okay, do you think you can do it? I think you can. I'm going to turn it over to our storytellers who are going to read their story for us. Long Long ago, in a country far away from this one, there were shepherds. Hey, sheep! Watching over their sheep. Bah! By night. Being good shepherds, hey sheep, they protected their sheep, made sure they had food to eat and water to drink, and gathered them together at night for protection. The shepherds were listening to the soft sounds of the sheep as they quieted down to go to sleep. The dark sky was full full of shimmering stars that night. And then all sounds stopped and an angel appeared to them. They were bathed in light, almost as if they were glowed from within. The shepherds were frightened and so were the sheep. The angel spoke to them. Don't be afraid. I have some good news. That will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, a baby was born. And this baby is your wait. And this baby is your savior. Christ the Lord. The shepherds were amazed, and so were the sheep. What they thought was going to be like a very other evening had turned into a holy night. The angel told them to go into Bethlehem where they would find the baby. Then the sky was filled with angels singing praises to God, proclaiming the good news. with great joy. Then they were gone. The shepherds looked at each other and the sheep. They said we should go to Bethlehem and see the baby. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told Mary and Joseph what the angel 
had told them about the baby. And that they had come to see the good news for themselves so that they could share the great joy. Everyone who heard what the shepherds said was amazed. Mary listened to all that was said and treasured it in her heart. The shepherds went back into the hills to their sheep, singing praise to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them. They had knelt before the baby. Received the good news. Felt the great joy. And when they were finally settled down, turned to each other uh, and proclaimed, Oh, what a night. We have our holy family up here, and we can take a peek at our, our lovely baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph on our way back to our seats. But let's pray. God, we thank you for this wonderful, magical night, for this opportunity to gather and to tell the story once again. As we celebrate you coming into our midst, help us to remember what great news this is for all people, that you love us so much that you came to be among, live among us and help us to share the good news with all we meet. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, as we sing away in a manger, friends, you can make your way back to your seats. our ushers to come forward so that we can collect our offering so that we may give back to God as we have received so graciously from him. So if the ushers would come on forward.
Lord our God is with us. Lift your hearts and voices high. Let us give thanks to the Lord everywhere and at all times. to you at this blessed Christmas time for the gift of your own son, born a poor child, peasant king, for the love you sent us, for the life he shared with us, for the sacrifice he made, Lord of Lords, King of Kings. On the night he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took the bread, blessed it, and broke it as he said, Take and eat. This is my body. After supper, he took the cup, gave you thanks, and giving it said, Drink this cup. It is my life, poured out for you and for everyone. this holy bread and we drink this holy cup, we, his, his presence we sense anew and his victory awaits. We remember and proclaim what your son has done for us in his life and in his death and as he rises and ascends. Accept our sacrifice as we surrender ourselves. Send your Holy Spirit down on us here and on our gifts. Help us through this bread and wine. Know the presence of our Christ. Make us one with him today and with humankind, we pray. you now to be seated as we prepare together to join our hearts and voices in the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In our Methodist tradition, this is an open table. Everyone is invited to share in the foretaste of Christ's heavenly banquet. So we're gonna invite you to come forward to receive communion. Um, we will start with the balcony and then the, followed by the transepts, which are our side parts here, and then 
the center, which we call the nave. So we'll start with a balcony and transepts, and then the center will come forward. We will have four stations. We're going to do this a little differently than we usually do. We're going to have four stations where we will be receiving by intinction. So there will be two in the center and two at each corner. And as you come forward, just go to the um, station that has the shortest line, okay? So the, ch the rail will be open for prayer if you wish to stop and pray after you receive. Um, you'll be served bread, and if you can hold your hands out like this, you'll receive a piece of bread, and then you'll take the bread and dip it in the cup. This is what we call intinction. If you're not comfortable dipping the bread in the cup, that's okay. You can just receive the bread and still receive all of God's grace. Um, but if you want to dip it in the cup, dip the bread in the cup and try not to dip your whole hand in the juice, please. Um, if you're not comfortable coming forward, I will be coming around throughout the sanctuary to serve you in your seat with the prepackaged elements. Just wave your hand at me and get my attention and I will so serve you where you are. All of our elements are gluten-free, so, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, we want everyone to receive who wants to receive, and all are invited. The bread of life given for us all. And the cup of salvation poured out for us all. The table is ready. As soon as we serve our servers, you may begin to come and receive.
Will you join me in the prayer after receiving in your bulletin? Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves to others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now as we sing joy to the world, candles. celebration this has been. Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us has been born right into our midst. May you go out into this Christmas Eve night knowing that you are loved and that God is with you always. And when you leave, make sure you please return your costumes to the fourth story theater and you can leave the candles in the bins as you exit so that we may use them again next year. Peace of Christ be with you. Amen. Amen.